Largest vehicle I could get stuck in the Suez Canal. What's my budget for this question, Toasty? How much money do I have to work with here? Put on a jacket, because I've left this window open and now it's cold? And then in about five minutes, I'm gonna go, ah, now I am. Now I am too warm. How much do I have on hand? Hmm. Now, realistic follow-up to this is how, like, do I get something if I put my entire life savings into uh, buying a larger vehicle? Like, is this a competition? Is there a reward? Is there incentive? Because otherwise I'm just gonna, like, get my normal car stuck, probably. Oh, I could also steal something. How hard do you think it is to break into a military complex and steal, like, a tank? $10 per square foot? What's the most cost-effective thing to rent per square foot? It's gotta be a big boat, right? Although... What's bigger than a boat? I don't really have a good idea of, like, scaling size. Two boats. Oh, how much is it to rent a rocket ship, you think? Wait, Dusk, you think you can give me a rocket ship? <laughs> Rental cars in Miami. Hey, yo! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh. Hey, uh, NASA, I need to borrow one rocket ship so I can get it lodged in the Suez Canal to win a bet. You think they'll you think they'll take it? I hope so. Maybe balloons? Oh yeah, maybe balloons. The hot air balloon count? Because, yeah, you could probably get a big hot air balloon. You could probably commission a real big hot air balloon. You know, I could make a big hot air balloon? Mmm. I did see that shit at the Suez Canal, though. They got that one dude with the fucking tractor just digging that bitch out. Get a Zeppelin. Sasquatch, you fucking genius. Holy shit. You take a, take a fucking Zeppelin in there? Oh, baby. Alright, let's play Monster Train. Tiny, what's happening? Uh, the weather here, it is raining. It's cold and it's raining today. How about over there? The thunder and lightning seems to have stopped. And it is just a nice, gentle rain now. I like it. Warm and rainy? Hell yeah. Shall we? We have Exile Wormkin Default Stygian. We're playing uh, Biker Beetle here. Explosive Sigil on the Daedalus. Spell Shield Foul Patient Seraph Hosting Kin Mollus Mage Ancient Resonance. And we do still start with Wormtooth. Glad to hear it. Let's see what we see. Alright, I'll do it. I'll play another Egg Run. It's the cheapest meat could be before you get suspicious. People willingly eat uh, spam and everything is okay. So, you know. <laughs> Probably pretty cheap. Like, I think around like 75 cents per pound, maybe. I would kind of go, hmm. I'm from Ohio. I'm from near Ohio, unfortunately for me. Not quite Ohio, though. Oh, uh, Echo Ray, this is different, right? No, wait. I'm getting... I think I'm getting this guy confused with the guy from Chrono's mod? From the, uh... You guys remember, uh... What am I talking about here? 
the the champion in Chrono's mod, the exile champion that does the uh, your starter spells have consumed. Remember that guy? Or was that this? Thinking about Big Snail, dude. I miss Big Snail. I was kind of hoping Big Snail was gonna show up, and then I went, no, Big Snail, he's not here, is he? Chrono had like a your starter spells have consume, and when you consume spells on this floor, you gain one energy, right? I believe so. Anyway. Uh, repeater, I gotta tell you. Repeater seems bad. That dude's an owl? Yeah, but like, this mechanic is similar. Yo, Cordy Kid, thanks for the prime, dude. I appreciate it. What's happening? Dude's an owl. I don't remember, it's all been so long. Repeater is insanely busted. Uh, we'll play with them all. I mean, I do not have great consume cards right now. But once you have good consume cards, you probably dip into this pretty comfortably. I Also, bringing a consume card back every turn for etch seems pretty good. Ah, Cheater's Hand is strong. You thought Echo Ray was a snail before, man. You remember that big snail that just gave the whole floor quick but couldn't move? I miss that guy. And Jelly Boy? Ah. Oh. Cheater's Hand is, uh. Good. Although, like, every single Wormkin unit is fucking expensive. Like, they're all so expensive. I want to play Forever Flame here. Cheater's Hand is cool, though, too. Yo, Cordy Kid, thanks for gifting a sub as well. I appreciate it. I'm clicking Forever Flame here. Let's do it. It's been a less, less of a how's it going tonight sort of stream, but, uh, you know, feel free to sound off if you guys want to. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope you've had a nice Thursday into Friday here. Or it may already be Friday for you. Friday morning, potentially. Uh, I'll do it. Not on fire, always a plus. That's true. Not on fire. There's a plus. Some wins in on the main computer. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's Friday night. Talk, it's Friday night. Where is it Friday night right now? I am uncertain. Oh, 6.35 p.m. Friday evening in New Zealand. Really? I thought it was like 3 right now in New Zealand. How about it? That's like, what, 15 hours? Holy shit, that's 15 hours ahead of me. God damn. I think the best thing for me to do is this. No, 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 no. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. I gotta read this guy's lore. I, like, I gotta read this guy's lore. I suppose it should be no surprise that the shard souls protecting the exiles are one and the same as the echoes found in the Wormkin's care. I'd understood the trapping of souls to be Talos's idea, and that still seems accurate. But the transfer of knowledge back out of these shards was created millennia ago by now extinct Kinhost Intelligence. Was the Echo Rite's voluntary exile a sort of last stand or part of something larger? Hmm. Interesting. Indeed. Malus Mage wow. kills himself here, unfortunately. Oh, but he gets the armor, so he's fine. I wonder if this is right. Soccer mom, what's happening? Wow, this draw is real unfortunate, huh? Oh, wait, this wipes the floor. That card says all enemies. Holy shit, that's insane. I thought that card said a single enemy. God damn. Ok, 
Okay. I cannot get damage to Chains here. He also has six lifesteal? Holy shit, Chains is gonna beat my ass. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, Echo, right? He goes pew pew. What a fucking great unit. Holy moly. What a legend. My man goes pew pew. Alright. He's got the shard soul brain. My man's lost his mind. He's out here hitting us with the pew pew. I have to play double Frozen Lance here. Right? Because I take six otherwise. Yeah. Alright. Echo Right initially feels weaker. Like, starting out first, uh, first upgrade, he feels weaker generally from the two paths that I've seen so far. But probably becomes a lot stronger once you get actual meaningful cards. Hard to build a deck around consume and then do well in the first combat since you don't have anything that says consume. Echo Infusion is nuts. Shelter is also really strong though. Like Shelter is very very strong. But I mean look at this thing. Yeah, Shelter does etch, but I think Echo Infusion for sure. Use Flash Freeze is okay. Crystallis is strong here. Is Ice Tornado stronger than Crystallis, you think? I've been kind of thinking that Ice Tornado might be stronger than Crystallis. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pick Ice Tornado here. Oh no, I have to pick a Stygian unit? Fuck. Some chat members' names are a different color in stream than in the chat window. This is a great question, Kaelric. I'm glad you asked because this drove me crazy for a while. On Twitch, with uh, Twitch chat, you can choose either to... Like, you can set your color, right? And if you, have a, if you have a color that's consistent on screen, that means that you set your color. If you have not set your color, then Twitch randomly gives you a different color every time... Basically forever, from what I've understood. So, the window that puts chat on screen and the window that you're seeing right now in your chat have different instances of that chatter. So, that basically just means that the people haven't set their color and they just go with whatever random color they get. Good question though, because that's something that drove, drove me crazy for a little while. You blew too much to leave it random. Let your eyes see when windows aren't real. Hmm, nah, I know. Color it as a you. Yeah, good joke, buddy. Uh, have to change your color? Yeah, feel free. Doesn't bother me either way, but... Like, I know. If, you, if you've been in chat for, like, three times, I know if you've set your color or not. And typically, you know, if you if you if you show up multiple times, like I, I know a few people who have their color. I, I can tell you a few uh, names who have their colors that like Dusk is always red, for example. Nosen's always blue. Show me Hot Shark, please. Thank you. Both sharks. Like I feel like uh, you. In Stygian in particular, I feel like if you infuse one of these types into the other, you just get an insane unit. Like if you infuse Hot Shark into Armor Shark or vice versa, 
the unit is just strong. And the same happens with the sirens as well. Give me shark. Let's give you our coral. Martian girl, on my screen, you and Dusk have different colors. Yeah. Yeah. You say your color? I believe you have methodical. Because you're usually green. Duplicating the shark and then just infusing him on himself seems cool. This takes me to 30 shards. How confident am I at 30 shards right now? Not... Not afraid with endless shark. Your screen, you have the same color. Explain that to a shank. I actually can also explain this, uh, Martian girl, if you can believe it. A few months ago, for some reason, Twitch shifted some of the colors for me. Uh, a few people, I've noticed, just come up with colors that are completely unreadable to me. And it was something that was like only happening for a split second, but then randomly they did a big shift that has uh, just kind of like fucked it up. And I don't know why. But I did notice this shift that happened recently where some people's names just come up a completely different color. I want to take conscription notice. So I'm going to. The, the, they come with minus one space? Can you get a zero space unit off of this? That's exciting. Yeah, they did buff Conscription Notice. Give me a unit draft. I'm not afraid. Real space is impossible. Fuck! Yeah, we're just machine gun bugging bottom floor here. Hey, that seems insane for this stage of the game. That seems very good. Give me that every time, please. Interesting to you, let's you change the font for chat. Does it? I've actually never checked that out. That seems cool. Are you gonna change the font too? This is a big boy, by the way. Send him. I'm not gonna put trains to his top four because I don't want that, that damage. Courier new. You know, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what that looks like. But I bet it's a good choice. You creatures are pathetic. Hey. Fuck you. Oh, wait, he just dies. Shark and sentry. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. Hey, no. What the hell? How dare you? Echo Break. I feel like I should like it a lot more, but I feel very underwhelmed by Echo Break so far. Shelter seems like a pretty strong take here. Echo Break's pretty trash. I mean, it's just like a slightly worse... Uh, Torch, right? And Torch isn't bad. So why isn't this feeling so good? Like, it feels like it's middle of the road. It's no plank, I can tell you that. So far... First thing I realized, first run of the, uh... First run of the season, right? I gotta tell ya. I played... If you haven't seen the YouTube episode, I played... Exile Umbra secondary, and I went, wow, Plink got so much fucking worse. It's crazy to me that the card Plink got worse with this last divinity. I thought it was already at rock fucking bottom, but oh my god, enemies pop in with like 25 health and I go, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this Plink? 
I play the plank and I go, ah, <laughs> it hurts me. Mentally, I will not recover. I'm gonna go flash freeze here. Let's start on playing it times fiving it. That is horrible news. I'm sorry to hear that. Wrong button. Plus five attack and incant plus one plus one. Incant armor two and plus ten health. I think. Echo rate's one space, right? He's two space? This is fucking cannon. This cannon. So, what the hell am I playing here? Look at this image and tell you what number. Let's see. Friend, I'm gonna give you, uh,. I'm just gonna... If, if I could easily click a five minute ban there, I, would, I, would t I might time you out for five minutes and just let you think about your actions. <laughs> if I didn't have to type it in, you'd be, you'd be sitting out for a little bit, friend. Holy shit. How dare you? How dare you? I did take Harden Hall, you know what? Fuck it, we're going eggs. Ah, hello. Choose a divine artifact. What's this? You sense an overwhelming presence pulse through, like a booming power stretching through all of existence. The understanding eludes me for why one with such little power as yourself continues to fight for a world that has already been condemned to die. Divinities created this world, not for you, never for you, but for us. It was a game for the child, to judge souls as good or evil. We did not care for this lowly play, but the creation of this world took less than a breath. Time was my domain and life was the mother's. I like these. <laughs> oh, Kramer, you sent friend for 311 seconds. That's fair. Friend, you can think about what you've done in solitary. Playing a spell deals four damage to a random enemy unit on that floor. Remove this artifact after one battle. These don't seem good. I'm gonna take one, of course, but realistically the 25 gold might be better, but... Take the Divine Tempered Towels. Sure. Just they came for the friend of Chad and you did nothing. Mm. I'm just gonna look for more eggs, I think. What is the, uh, what's the infusion? Summon two bog flies? I'm gonna make a lot of bog flies. That's my new game plan. I'm just gonna make a lot of bog flies. And we're gonna see what happens if I just have a floor of like 15,000 bog flies. Go right. Hmm, this guy's one space, or one energy. Look at this. Could just play first of camp. Makes sense. He seems good. Oh, I could also just put his etch effect onto the bog chrysalis and then it'll pass down to the flies. Hmm. That might be horrible. Let's do it. I'm going to 55, so it's like it's gonna be very scary, but I don't feel fear. Where we're going, we don't need fear. Martian girl, thanks for the prime. 
Bong flies. You really come in here and you type pog flies at this time? I think said draw priority? I think so. The real risk here is Daedalus. Oh yeah, the real risk here is that Daedalus is gonna freaking smash me. I want to maybe duplicate the shark. I mean, realistically, I want to duplicate this bad boy, but going to 70 shards before Daedalus, I'm not so sure about. I'll do something like Shelter here. Seems like it's much, much harder than it was in the test round. I don't know, my rebrun seemed just very overpowered, so I don't think I have a good frame of reference. How big is Daedalus? 800? 900? How big are you, Daedalus? He is... Uh, uh. Daedalus is the devil. My god. This one. No, 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 no. Hey, Cocalia. Nice. I like that. Two curses. Any boss you kill gives you one curse that triggers it. Really? Hey, my flies. Hey, my flies! What are you doing? You're dying. <laughs> Foolish. Idolus has one spike? <laughs> what the hell? Who gave Daedalus one spike? But Cranberry, you banned Martian girl? Hey, wait a minute. Alright. Was the was the unbanned request good? One big long and hard spike. He what? Didn't read it? What the heck? All of that for an unbanned request, and then you don't even read it? Unbelievable. Believable. Alright. This is one slide of a toenail that you forgot to clip. Yeah, you gotta, gotta watch out for that one. It's deadly. I think we're just gonna bop you up here. Hit him with the old one, two, three maneuver. This actually doesn't look that bad. Friend, <laughs> I can't read. Cranberry I'm okay here. I also think I'm okay here. The, uh,. The armor on these bog flies is looking pretty cool. And yeah, the big shark, of course. Who doesn't love big shark, though? Also, the tempered talisman is actually doing some good work here. I'm glad I took it. Move it to the back. Okay. Big hot shark. 
18 naked hot sharks at uh what's a what's a ram ranch for this game quick i couldn't convert on the joke i need you guys to finish it for me Echoes of the past. This is to a single target? Okay. I want to read this one because it's big. I cannot remember its entirety, but here are the pieces I've put together. In the beginning, there were three divinities. Father, mother, child. They created the world for sport, to placate an idle child needing distraction. Father created the structure of space and time, while the mother provided life as pieces. So the realm spun on for the child, with life created and tossed aside just as plainly. Even the thinnest of these facts will drain the purpose out of the most willful. I understand the Wormkin's decision to keep our meaningless creation a secret. Hmm. Okay. That sucks. Well, the many jokes best I can do is your gameplay. The hell out. How could you? After all this time, you would just decimate me like that? Come on. I'm gonna take Spike of the Stygian just for self-made Harpy. Egg? This is another egg. I think I'm just duplicating the Bogworm Chrysalis, though, honestly. I got Siren of the Sea. I think I'm just chilling, though. I could... I, I do want to infuse something into Shark, though. Summon plus 10 plus 10. I don't really care about this. Armor 10 and Strike Apply Reap 1. Eh. Yeah, holy shit, look at that URL. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I'm gonna skip this for now. This feels like a draw angle. I don't really feel like we need energy. Space isn't lacking. The URL in my YouTube description. It looks like uh, it took the URL and it gave you a are you sure you want to leave YouTube link. I think I want... I want Steel Shop. I need to get Multi Strike on this Bog Chrysalis, and then I just want to slam it and duplicate it to see where that takes us. Mm, duplicate's far away. Two removals is nice. I'll go right here. I can take the Large Stone, right? Because it's Echo Right Bog Chrysalis. I can take the Large Stone. Although I can't duplicate it then? Hmm. Probably not then. Okay. Let's give it a plus 25 here. Yeah, I'll do this. Then we'll reroll. Oh, have I lost my frames? I have lost my frames. That's a bad one, too. There it goes. We're back, we're back. Another little lightning strike for you there. Yeah, you will need to refresh. Oh, it's raining pretty hard. Isn't it? It is. It's a nice night.
Can I ask you how your breakfast was? Yeah, tiny. I didn't. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do? You gonna tell me how your breakfast was? You'd get me real mad if you wanted to get revenge. You'd tell me how your breakfast was. I'd get pissed. I'm rerolling this for multi strike, by the way. I'm not gonna go large stone here. Cool. This feels like an essence you never use. I guess you could maybe do like Cold Kalia and the Cold Kalia with multi strike. Could be cool. Let's get that for now though. I guess we're chilling for now. Probably don't want to take many packed shards anyway. There's nothing too exciting here. I think I'll just chill. Let's see what's in the forge today. Martial Lord! I think if I pivot to Martial Lord, I am griefing <laughs> unless i'm really disappointed that martial lord doesn't buff other eggs on this floor i gotta tell you that's a real shame that i'm not he doesn't buff the other eggs on the floor okay my egg first turn then martial lord's really bad what are you talking about how bad could it be Has an egg run ever gone well? <sighs> Fine, I won't play eggs. God. Just remember, I tried. I tried to play eggs. And my hands were tied. I tried to play it and they said, no, no, don't play the eggs. Oh, God. Twist my arm, why don't you? Just play something good. They don't seem very good. No, they seem really bad. They do seem very bad. I agree. Hey, we got a shark, by the way. Look at this guy. Yeah, our eggs hatching as well. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Or in this case, do, I guess. If I could just always get this beefy shark at one space, holy moly. You see that uh, text block, by the way? Hee hee, stop! Hee hee. You good, brother? Are you good? Because, like, you can tell me if you aren't good. Things is poggy woggy. Cranberry? Very presumptive of you. I think I just played two Echo Breaks. I gained 40 damage. Yeah, 44. 15 puts you in. Eh, I'm just gonna put these here and see what happens. That looks right. He's trying his best. That's fair. He's not doing great, but he's trying, and he's on the path to recovery, and I respect that. Good work, Echo, right? Anything to say for yourself? Oh, divinities. Hmm. Yeah, whatever you say, brother. If I could just get a few more cards with the words consume on them, I would feel pretty good. He's a therapist. You told him that whenever he says something like, Today we made a lot of good progress. Don't say proggy woggy. 
Mmm, yeah. That would be something you would not want to say to your client. Yes, Cranberry. Good thing you warned him about that, because he might have accidentally said that if you didn't warn him, right? You're a good friend. For helping him out. Meanwhile, my friend Ryan uh, continued to have a problem where he kept saying uh, Poggies in real life. One of his co-workers told him they finished up on a project and he said, yo, Poggies. And then he said, I have a problem. <laughs> it's a fucking tough story. Ugh. He started saying it too to like because, you know, I stream and he knows, and he's like, haha, Poggies, right, streamer man? And I went, please. I'm off the clock. I don't need to hear you saying Poggies to me, please. And he went, haha, Poggies, and he just kept saying it. And then I went, ah, you can't say, you can't stop saying Poggies, can you, brother? And then he went, help me, please. Uh, I think we're fine. Probably shouldn't have these stewards in here. Just hype on ironically. I mean, hype is a pretty good one, though, you know? You're not wrong to say hype. Lightning bugs will change from the beta? Uh. God, I don't remember. The last divinity is the big one. Final boss has changed. Soul Siphon seems okay. <sighs> But it's kind of awkward. I want to click a card that says consume, but these aren't great consume cards. So I don't love it. Like, skipping my next turn for this doesn't feel great. Force Contamination also doesn't seem great here. And Soul Cripple. I don't think that's it either. On the one hand, Crystalline Seeds is infused and consumed, but on the other hand... I mean, I could just click on Frenzied Swarm. Je voudrais une pomme de terre, s'il vous plaît. Cranberry, pomme de terre, this apple of the earth, and I remember you telling me what the apple of the earth was, but I can never remember. It's a potato? It's a potato. That sounds right. I wanted to say potato, but then my mind said watermelon for some reason. And I was like, this isn't right. What did they call the watermelon the apple of the earth? <laughs> uh, <laughs> tiny. Get fucked. I'm taking friends with Swarm here. Get fucked, dude. Nation fought a hundred years of war. Yeah, and now you're getting suppressed. Hold over minus one. Double stack. Mm. I don't think so. Did he say fuck France? He said fucking French. <laughs> Frenzy Swarm the best card in Stygian. Yeah, solid maybe. Especially into the last divinity, right? Minus one holdover and you just trivialize all the waves. Seems good. Yeah, okay. No holdover. What a shame. Also no plus 20 in Consumes, although there also might have just been a plus 20 in Consume and my brain filtered it out. I think there was, actually. And I just filtered it out, because so I was like, plus 20 in Consume, eh. I gotta get back into the, uh, the correct mental here. Who the fuck is this? Did you guys know there's other bosses on this floor? Fuck. 
I hope he has multi-strike. <laughs> That's you, yo? They put you in the game randomly? Let's go, dude. Looking good. <laughs> you don't die. 31 damage! <coughs> I'm saved. That's a, a strong man. <laughs> oh my god. How scared. You should echo break first. Could also sneak this mollusk mage on the floor before it fills up. Thirty-one damage, holy moly. Oh, it's because, uh, it's because we permitted the term fucking French. You're legally allowed to say it in this chat now. Please do not begin uh, spewing hatred against the nationality of France. Uh, thank you. Don't make me come down there. Thirty-one damage. Oh, buddy. I think I should just fill this floor up with echoes while I have the chance. Yeah, please don't make me come down to France. I'm, fun fact, I am cripplingly terrified of the Eiffel Tower. That's not true. Unless it's true. Who's A? Could go a little more. The French people are being prejudiced against the French language. Yeah, but like, just because I've allowed you to say the words fucking French, please do not begin being angry at the French. Unless you really want to. I mean, I guess I can't stop you. Not right now, anyway. Just censor one of the letters in French so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Man, I, I was not ready to read the sentence. They did some pog anti-Nazi stuff back in the day. What an absurd sentence. Jesus. <laughs> how did you type that? Explain to me how you typed that and didn't have a problem finishing that sentence, because, like, holy fuck. Red Beard is interesting. I'm pretty sure Rail Beater saves our lives here. Kiki. <laughs> Some pretty unpog imperialism. Yeah, history of the world through if something was pog or unpog, please. God, why are you giving me such garbage consume spells? Please. I just need spells that consume and are trash. Cranberry, where'd you find that clip? I thought I deleted that. Can I add consume the power of knowledge? Mm. 
I don't know the context of that clip. The context of that clip was Cranberry typed in chat, Hey Voyix, can you say, Hello, my name is Voyix and I'm the guy who drank my own piss. I was also, I had like a three month period where I just dunked on Joey salads every day for every month. Fucking Joey salads. Uh. Where are we at? We're at 55. This puts me at 70. I have to take something at this temple. I don't need a unit upgrade. I go right. I am duplicating though. I went for Congress in New York at the time this clip was made. Cranberry, you cannot prove that I am Joey Salads. I. I don't know how much I get for duplicating. I think I get 25 for duplicating this bog chrysalis. Which I am doing. I think I get 25 for that, which should put me at 80? I think with the hell then I don't need the divine temple. Even if it gives me 10, it puts me at 65. This puts me at 80 and then I can go to 105. Okay, I'm fine. I'm okay. In this case... It changed how you look at this channel? Eh, you know. Personally, I've never tasted my own piss, as far as you're aware. That could change at any moment, though. Throw a plus ten. I feel like Ancient Resonance always doing this is a fine one. Removing consume is bad. This time, there's no consumes. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Don't put piss in my mouth here. I mean, uh, words. <laughs> drink Diet Sprite. Cranberry, don't say that I drink something as disgusting as Diet Sprite. Please. Don't slander me like that. Hey, consumable cards. Hey, give me a random Wormkin card. Yeah, that seems good. Diet Sprite. Ugh, God. Sprite right, Zero is actually great. I drink regular Coca Cola, hot tea, and water. And that's it. Ancient Resonance with plus 10, not just a better vent. Nah, because you can play vent at zero cost. And it still does 10. And coffee? Ah, true friend. I forgot about coffee. Good catch. This pop is Fago Rock and Rye. Kaelrick, that is a that is the most Midwest answer I've ever heard in my life. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I've actually never had it, too. Which is also funny, I think, to myself. Attic shell. What the hell do I do with this thing? Hmm, I haven't had Fago? Not I, no, I haven't, actually. I just drink other soda. I also don't call it pop. Is it behind Hot Shark? Yeah, probably. Drink hot Coca-Cola, regular tea, and water. Drink Coca-Cola, eat hot chip, and lie! 
Yo, know, EVP Tom, what's happening? Not doing too bad, how about yourself? <laughs> what year is it? Uh, I don't know. Where am I? I can shelter, but I can get a better one later. I don't need to slam it here. We're chilling. Just gonna squeeze by it and grab the ranch there. Oh, jeez, bud. You mind passing the ranch? I put fucking Mollusk Mage in front, huh? It's an interesting choice by your boy, which is me, who is myself. I'm gonna drop the spike. Get that 15 frostbite in position. You love ranch? One of my friends who's from here says he hates ranch and loves blue cheese. I don't know how. Ranch? Significantly better. Blue cheese? Ugh. Add that to the list of gross ones. I want the armor. Bring back Spike of the Stygian. If I get another Broken Memories, I can just loop these, and that's plus 20, or, yeah, that's, wow, that's crazy. Oh, jeez, skip the middleman and pour it into the toilet. True. Big true. Facts. Absolute facts. Almost <laughs> Mage will lead the charge. He's doing it. A man's hitting him up. I think it's best to just play Ice Tornado here, potentially. Although holding Ice Tornado for another turn isn't the worst either. Could just X the spike here, another 15 Frostbite, but I don't get the uh, armor. That's all I really care about is the armor. Blue cheese sauce has ranch in it. Can we not all come together under this common banner? Absolutely not. Blue cheese makes me throw up. If I were to consume enough blue cheese in one sitting, I would die. And at the funeral, uh, they would only serve ranch. Do you think anyone's ever had a... I, don't, like, I paused there because I had this awful thought. Do you ever think about like a chocolate fountain but with ranch dressing? Have you ever thought of that? No, you have not? <laughs> Every day of my life. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, chocolate fountain, but with ranch dressing. Go back to slowly. <laughs> no story about someone who had that at their wedding. Ugh. Ugh. Just walk up. Just walk up, stick your finger in it, and then just eat ranch right out the fucking thing. Oh my god. That's a nightmare. I love it. What a chowder fountain, you know what? I could be convinced. You can make your case. I'm listening. I don't know why I've been holding this on the income for so long. I should just toss it. <laughs> How many different absurd things can you just put into a fountain? and then serve at a party. Fucking clam chowder wedding. Just, just that's it. That's the whole that's the whole post. Clam chowder wedding.
That's it. <laughs> so fountain. You just take a Plato Linguini up, hold it under the pesto fountain. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, Malus Mage. Spaghetti sauce fountain. Oh, Matt, it's like a spaghetti sauce fountain and it's split into six sections and each section is a different sauce. Ooh. That sounds good. Alfredo fountain. God. My cholesterol. I think I take accelerated incubation. Even though I don't need the shell, I just need a card that's zero cost and says consume. Get in here. I want to take space. If I take space, I could potentially make three bog chrysalis on the floor. I'm interested. You've got my attention. Like a better zero cost consume since it infuses. Yeah, it is. You are correct. Faulty loader is really bad. They confuse me. Malik Mage, first thing you see here is Malik Mage tank. Fuck, I've been exposed. Shit. <laughs> I didn't think about the Malik Mage tank game plan when I was making that video. Repeater gives me. So let's, let's do a little thinking here. Repeater is effectively plus 8 every turn after I play my first consume spell. Alternatively, so how many turns do I have where I'm not going to be playing a consume card? I think a lot. Probably just click it, yeah. See what the duplicate looks like for Bog Chrysalis? It's plus 15. So I go to 85 if I duplicate it again, which I'm going to, so I'll just take this. Refracting Lenses is good. Totem Fragment is... decent? Yeah, Repeater does act as a draw gem in a trench coat. It is going to occasionally pull back Accelerated Incubation, which kind of sucks. Let's ride. Plus eight. I don't want to disrespect here. We're in the orange. I have plenty of money. Let's just go. What's it gonna be, Echo, right? Well, Kaylee? Sure. Just get more eggs? Good plan. This bad boy just hatches instantly. I think that's a problem. I think hatching him right away is bad. Because I want to get the other one down. Mark has been so nice, he's killing it. Absolutely. Quick, uh, quick thought here. I think once I have three eggs, it becomes bad if I just hatch one. I think I can hatch this one, though. But I do lose the consume. I think I need to wait. I think I want to wait on the consume there. No more cards to draw. I guess I could have consumed it on a different floor so it gets pulled back at least. That might have been smart. Okay, so I think they take the front to back here, if I'm not mistaken. Alice Mage, fuck him up, brother. Okay, we gotta get some hatching going here. Okay, there you go. They do go front to back. Would there be any champion, who would I want to be? Interesting question. Hmm. 
think about it. Probably the answer to this question is like Tethys? I think the correct answer to this question is Tethys. this to play double shelter and it's gross I guess I get them back though so it's not that big of a deal soul guard Wendleton I mean they're like mentally tortured though I'm pretty sure I don't think soul guard or Wendleton are doing too hot Pretty high. I mean, Lil Fay is a good choice as well. Talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about, Crane Man? He was like exiled in the heck. <sighs> My man's not doing well. I guess maybe I want to just guarantee the shelter every turn. Potentially. Yeah, okay, don't forget to replay shark. And I will just take the consume. Oh, you're all mentally tortured. Yeah, kind of. Turn in health. Is it in the mode? Yeah. The DLC has release. And so enemies get stronger as we take more pack shards. Okay. Just chill in here. We're going to be gorged on many times. Live your dreams. He's actually so fucking thick. My man doesn't fit on the floor. He's so thick. God damn, that's a thick ass boy. Boy. <laughs> Absolutely unit. Absurdly big. Spike of the studio? Hmm. Oh yeah, these guys have etch on them as well. Holy shit. This floor gets really strong. Forgot they have etch. We buy ourselves like three or four rounds, and then you just end up massive. Like, look at this. Two hundred and four armor, and all of these do a hundred and five times two. Is a scorpion implant because everyone hates you, dude. Charto Queen, I rated her as an S tier champion. What are you talking about? She's great. I love her. Three random spell cards from the discard pile to your hand and apply consume. Yes. Seal Pog. Yeah, that's gonna be a Poggies out of me, brother. You know what they say Big Poggies. I'm gonna click on Cuddlebeard. Fuck, I missed the Cuddlebeard with the fucking Glacial Seal. Ah! <laughs> Ferris Quill seems good. Ferris Quill does seem good. 
Glacial <laughs> Seal made some great froggy woggy today. True, Cranberry. Very true. I could take the Holdover Frenzied Swarm. I don't actually think I need to perform after this update. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird now that we have repeater because I just want to like not fill up my consume card pile but at the same time like I want him to just pull back these but I guess I maybe yeah, I'm gonna chill Fish, what's happening? How's it going? Seraph. How are you feeling today, brother? Ooh, not too bad, Seraph. Not too shabby. One of these chrysalis is gonna hatch. No, 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 no. <laughs> if I play this, it uh, blocks me from playing my last egg. Don't make that noise with me, young lady. Hmm. I don't have anything to consume this hosting kit now. It's a shame. Oh, because it consumes. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Don't worry. I'm okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't you worry. I. Me. I got it. I am hip and with it. Listen here, Echo Right. Don't tell me to hurry, please. I'm already under enough stress as it is. You don't gotta tell me to hurry, please. I get it. I get it. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta. Oh, baby. How lovely. How fucking lovely is this? The <laughs> Beetle says, let's go. <laughs> Please don't call Echo right Da Beetle. I beg you. I beg you not to call him Da Beetle. go. I'm uh, gonna encamp this man three times, but I gotta save Da Bog Fly. Front bug dies not today. 685. Patient Seraph says drain the swamp. Okay, I'm just gonna not play Accelerated Incubation because I don't want it back. Is my thinking here? Although at the same time, that might be flawed thinking. Pokemon go to the swamp. You guys are on fire. Okay, I think I don't replay this. I guess it does etch, though. Yeah, you know, uh, you guys are right. Like, on the one hand, cultivate the consume pile. On the other hand, etch wide people happy. It's a hard one. Hard call. 
here's a here's a big brain move for you. I send this guy to the back so that he doesn't die. Look at that. Thinking. Who the hell is my fucking my uh my tome? My tome of the shut up break up set. There it is. Let's go. Can't just think, watch me, Nelson. And then you can watch me nay nay. Soon after. My man's taking 1350. get an early kill here? I don't think so, but potentially. Could be. I mean, we're definitely killing it here. How much is it? 980? Thinking we are at the end here. We got 1293 on. And once you have actual consume cards, it feels a lot better. Pew, pew. Echo right feels like he gets out of control. A little bit. Although, to be fair, just the triple bog flies with etch is pretty fun. I am a bit of a fan here. Triple etch bog flies. Bog fly, bog fly cocoon. Looking a little stronger than I initially anticipated. Yeah, getting armor on seven units all at once seems pretty high value. An egg run worked. Well, has it yet? At least still got somewhere to be. A fish. I will hit you up. The problem is with Marshall? Mm, surely not. Again, just reviewing head region, uh, torso region, feet region. Remember. Okay. So the hard part here is going to be getting set up. Absolutely. This is going to be the most difficult section of this fight. Oh, this is strong. I want to put Shark down here, but he's not here. Interesting problem. I think we do this. I am going to hatch this egg, it doesn't matter as long as I don't hatch another one. Nice laser beam. Nice laser beam. I like that. Okay, bog fly run, then an egg run. What is this word? At the bottom of the card here? I didn't draw my other egg. It's a bit of a problem. I 
I also didn't draw my shark. Hmm. It's an interesting issue. My hardened hull is going to be problematic. Why didn't I draw the shark here? Great question. Why didn't I draw the shark here? What was I thinking? What a misplay. We just gotta roll with it here. Hey, we dodged the Ember Great. Nice. Did that last egg? Very late. Later than that pickle dude, even. Okay, so we just kind of gotta send it here. I believe. What a banger. Shark dies, seven, holy shit, that guy does 50. <laughs> Buddy. Stable, but I'm not sure. The save the egg is one of the top five times. Yeah, you're right. But I don't really want to draw the egg again, so I think it's fine to just send it. Just keep drawing shelter and we're winning. Also. Oh, there's spikes. That's alright. I think we're stable and I think we win. I think even with four flies it's enough. It is like, there's not a whole lot of imagination when he shoots that fucking laser beam out of his, uh, his thigh area here. I gotta tell you, Not a whole lot of room left to the old imagination over there. My man is, uh, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about what I'm looking at. Bring me a shelter here. He's shooting his goo. Cranberry, I would never imply that this man is shooting his goo, as you have so crassly put it. It's <laughs> fucking fired up the piss laser. Oh no. Look at how he's got the piss gun. Get down! <laughs> oh, this shit seems tough, by the way. Do uh, you guys harvest down here? No, I'm safe to just toss this man away. He does spawn bosses now, yes. It is... scary. I'll probably end this turn with Frenzy Swarm. Just drop everything. Give our bog fly up front a turn off. An Ember Drain's a little annoying. Also not a great turn here. I do miss my next turn because of Ember Drain. 
Hope that's not a problem. It's probably going to be an issue. Hmm. We'll see. I'll probably even count in Bob Duke because he is a It's uh, not all that surprising considering we've been playing for like. Uh. What? Four hours? Four and a half hours? I've not seen all the cards yet. Potentially haven't even unlocked them all. I do have two free cards, you're not wrong. Hey, we win. Is including the beta? I played it in the beta. Goodbye, last identity. The egg run has succeeded. Pew pew. The card? Yes, I played the card in the beta. Insane Apex Imp run. Yo, nice. I have not had an insane Apex Imp run yet. A Crusher Banshee. Thanks for another five gifted subs, dude. I appreciate it very much. Too easy. Too, too easy. What do we unlock? Keeper of Echoes. Oh, this guy. He is... I'm not sure. Gotta tell ya. I'm not sure about this guy. I guess he's two space. I was pretty on the fence about him in the beta. Uh. I don't know. We'll see how he feels. Consume. Gain one space and one echo. Sure. That seems good. How's the DLC affected my view of the game? Freshen it up enough is more fun, or am I feeling like it's a slog to play? I do not feel like this game is a slog to play particularly much. Uh, it's good. The DLC is fun. I am having a good time with it. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. This card looks cool. Extract 6 minus 666 health. I like it. I'm gonna read the lore on this one because I want this one. Another memory. At the time of the Exodus, we thought that these exiles, these souls to be sacrificed, would bring back peace or some semblance of it. Instead, the child was fractured and the souls of heaven and hell made immortal. Some of the child's power remains in heaven's light and in the pyre. But how can those small divine remains make up for millennia of suffering? Hmm. Seems like a better razor sharp edge. Hmm. <laughs> the card with extract is played. Gain one energy and one uh, echo. Yeah. That seems cool. As well. Nice. Hell yeah. 